Hey everyone, how's it going? So for this video, we're going to be looking at a little app called Clawy. <laughs> Clawy is an app that allows you to play semi-traditional styled claw machines via webcam, and any prizes that you win can get shipped directly to you. You can win a variety of interesting products ranging from your standard plushies, toys, jewelry, Clawy paraphernalia, and most importantly, coins. I'll tell you why this is a little important a little later. The interesting thing about these products is that it looks like a good amount of them are unofficial, but, and this is a big but, some of the products actually look official. It's a pretty cool app considering you can do all of this online. So let's go ahead and look at the finer details. When you first download the game, you get a decent amount of coins which lets you play beginner cranes. Beginner cranes are priced fairly cheap, and the cool thing about them is that you can keep on playing till you win. It kind of makes it seem like a pretty good introduction to crane games for people who've never played this type of game before. Clawy machines are fairly simple to digest, so if you're hungry for simplicity, this is it. The game window shows the amount of coins you have on top, the cost of the machine on top of the play button at the bottom, a recharge button, a button to switch the camera view, and a button that shows the last winning replay conveniently located in the bottom right corner, so you can easily see how a prize was won. There's also a counter at the top right that indicates your level. Leveling up gives you some rewards, so it's kind of like a frequent buyer player system, which is pretty neat too. You'll notice the currency of Clawy is coins, and the thing is, is that it's kind of difficult to determine the value of your coins because there's no clear distinction between how much a dollar is worth in terms of coins. Uh, you'll see it gets a little complicated. The machines available to play have varying costs. Nothing is standard. Take this machine for example. It's worth 70 coins to play. If you scroll up a little higher, you can see this other machine is 1,050 coins. I mean, that's a huge difference. And we're not even talking about how much this game costs. I mean, look at this price range. There are so many different price points and the value for your dollar changes based on the rates that you purchase. Don't worry though, I did the calculations for you. <laughs> at the lowest rate of 160 coins for $3 USD, you're pretty much getting 53 coins per dollar. And at the highest rate, 9,000 coins for $100, you're looking at about 90 coins per dollar. So if you're going to be purchasing around, say doing the 1500 rate every once in a while or the 3400 rate, on average, a dollar will be equivalent to about 76 coins, which is probably the best estimate for this game. Knowing this, let's look back and see how much this game really costs. For the machines I pointed out earlier, 70 coins to play would be equivalent to about 90 cents. So that would mean the machine that costed 1,050 coins would cost around $14? Yes, I calculated that right. $14 per play for an inflatable snowman. <laughs> I mean, granted, we are recording this during the winter season, but still, that's a lot of money. I mean, that's fine if that's the price point. I guess that's just how it is for this game. On average, I've noticed most of the games range between 100 to 300 coins anyway, so you're most likely going to spend around $1.50 to $4 per play, which is pretty average for online crane games, or even if you went to a real arcade, say, round one or something like that. Now, there is a daily login feature where you're able to get additional free coins every single day, but, and again, this is a big but, it does have an expiration date. Basically, you get seven days of free coins every time you make a purchase. So if you purchase coins once, you'll have seven days of free coins. Purchase twice, you get 14, and so forth and so forth. So basically, you wanna make sure you never skip a day or else you're losing those free coins forever. Not necessarily the cheapest game, but it is a phone game, so if you put a lot of money to it, it does have the capacity to get pretty expensive. That's just the nature of phone app games anyway. But let's go ahead and see how this game is played. It looks like they actually have music on the selection screens. That's pretty neat. <laughs> and it looks like it's the exact same music for in-game as well. As far as I could tell, there are only three tracks on here. The track that plays when you're navigating the select screen or in a game, the purchasing and free coins page, And lastly, the shipment page.
For this game, I don't actually think the music is that entertaining, but I do like the effort that they're trying to put music on every single page, if, if the music doesn't bother you. Like I mentioned earlier, these machines are semi-traditional claw machines. You have a three-pronged claw in either the prize you are trying to win or a series of boxes in the machine. Don't worry though, whatever machine you are playing, that is the prize you will get. Gameplay for this app is sort of like a marriage between Japanese style crane games and your normal claw machines. Although you have a three-pronged claw, you can only move the claw in two different directions once. Once to the right, and once towards the back of the machine. So you'll need to aim pretty precisely in order to grab something. The benefit is, you'll be able to change the camera view when moving the claw towards the back of the machine, so at least you have that going for you. And here's the big question. Is it easy to win? I'd actually say yes. This is probably the best game if you're looking to do a lot of wins. In my experience, this game is really all about skill and timing since the claw never appears to be weaker or stronger in any situation. However, two requirements need to be satisfied. One, the prize or box you are aiming for must be in a very specific position. Basically, be really open so the claw can be surrounding the entire object. And two, you need to be able to aim the claw perfectly in order to pick the object up. There have been many times where I would win multiple prizes from the same machine over and over again simply because the positioning of the boxes were so perfect. Or people would play them, then give up and leave the item in a favorable position for me to snipe it. I think Klai is aware that their cranes are pretty fair, so every time you win, you actually get kicked out of the machine so the next person in line can try and get it. Which is pretty neat, since people can't hoard if there are a lot of prizes in really good positions in the machine. It's a pretty straightforward game to be honest. The more you play it, the better you get an idea about its mechanics, and it does seem pretty fair. So, I, I know, it's a lot of stuff to unfold, but I'm pretty sure you've won something by now, so let's go ahead and talk about shipping. Shipping has a price, and realistically that price doesn't matter because you are basically going to be signing up for the $4 VIP service anyway, which accomplishes a few things. VIP service unlocks daily logins, free shipping, and access to quote-unquote expert machine play, which basically means you get to play for the better prizes rather than the simple beginner prizes you initially could play for. It's hard for me to determine how I feel about Claw's shipping because I had a pretty weird experience, and when I looked at reviews about how people felt about Claw's shipping, there were times where people didn't receive their prizes, so I thought I might have actually been in that experience. Uh, but let me just go ahead and break it down for you. When you request for shipping on items in Klai, you may or may not get tracking. Chances are they're all going to ship, but not in the same package. You'll get them all sporadically, but at the end of the day, you're going to get the items that you ordered. The entire game and all of its features seem pretty cool, right? So what makes this game stand out from other apps? Remember me mentioning the fact that you can win coins? Yeah, this game has been the game I've been looking for for a long time since it's a perpetual simulation of playing claw machines. If you win coins, you get more fuel to play and you can continuously play for coins. So if you manage to always win, you could technically play this game forever, which is amazing. With this feature alone, it makes this one of my favorite claw machine apps I've played so far. Never mind the prizes you can get through this game because shipping's terrible, but the potential of endless gameplay is something I continually sought, and if there's one reason to play this game, I'd say this is it. Dangerous though, since this definitely encourages a gambling mentality. Overall, I think this game is great. I'm not saying it's the great for the pricing, but since they do have some official products on here, I can see that why they would do it that way. And because the cranes are pretty easy to win, it makes sense. Just be careful about spending on big ticket items. In addition, the fact that you can potentially play this game endlessly for cheap, it's a really great draw for the game. And for me, that's the only reason why I'd say this game is great. But you have to be really skilled to win a lot of coins. Otherwise, you'd have to add more money into the game in order to keep on playing and to continually get free additional coins every single day. Like most apps I play, the main thing I question is whether this is a legitimate service. And in my eyes, it seems that way. The prizes that I won eventually did get shipped to me, even though service is a little lacking. But, you know, the quality of the prizes also seems to be pretty decent. Again, don't know if they're knockoffs, they seem to be pretty good, but, you know, you be the judge for yourself. If you want to go ahead and try this game for yourself, there's going to be a link in the description below so you can check it out. And if you've had experiences with Klai, go ahead and put a comment below so that you can share with our community. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I hope that this helped out. Bye. <laughs>